Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm doing a full face of Technic makeup and this is what it looks like. It's a mixed bag. Oh, let's not even waste time. Let's get straight into it. Right, so to start off with priming, I've got two primers right here. I've got one mattifying one and one illuminating one. This is the Technic Matte Fix Liquid Mattifier and this, I believe, is very similar to the Versali, you know, liquid powder. And then I also have the Technic Illuminating Primer. To begin with, I'm going to put this mattifying primer on my oily T-zone. Oh, it's quite watery. It has like a kind of like a thick serum texture. Okay, that's nice so far. With primers, you can't really tell until you've worn the makeup for a while. So we'll kind of talk about it at the end of the video. This actually is a liquid to powder primer. It has witch hazel in there, vanilla plant extract, pink kaolin, and it's supposed to control excess oil. So we shall see. I get very oily in my T-zone, so let's put it to the test. And then and the next primer we have is the illuminating primer. I actually picked up two by mistake. <laughs> I'm not usually this extra with primers. Oh, okay. So it comes off like a pearlescent pink kind of cream. It's very like shimmery. So let's, I don't necessarily want shimmer on the perimeters of my face, but since I've already pumped it up, it has a nice sheen to it. And this says it has hyaluronic acid in it. I love that ingredient, love it. It's my favorite ingredient in skincare. So yeah, I'm just hoping it's just gonna plump all these areas and hydrate it. For the foundation, I've got the Technic Luminous Glow Foundation, and this is in the shade Honey. I don't think they had like my specific shade, but this is the closest I've found. It's a demi-matte foundation, so I feel like the finish should be interesting. Oh, and it kind of comes off like, like this, like... It's supposed to be a spatula, is this how it's supposed to come out? I'm not sure. It's interesting, let's wipe some. Oh, in my face. This one, oh my god. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Whoa. I've literally got powder flaking off my face. I don't know if you can see that, but around my nostril. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. No, I feel like I might have to take everything off. <gasps> I don't know. Okay, right. I'm going to get rid of this. I'll be back. Right. Okay. We're going to try this again. I've just washed my face and we're going to put on the tiniest amount of that primer. I literally cannot believe that that happened. What? I have gone into this video with very, very high hopes. So yeah, they've been dashed already. <laughs> going to try it again. I'm giving it a fair shot. I'm going to put the tiniest amount on. All right, so instantly my face feels matte because it's definitely like it, it goes from liquid to powder. I'm just hoping that I don't get the crust again. So I'm gonna use this primer again. Okay, no, I can already see around my nose like little powdery bits. I'm gonna try it out for the sake of this video and if it works, like if it doesn't disrupt the foundation and fair, but like initially just seeing it on my skin i'm like oh my god this looks really bad let's go in with that foundation again see i don't know if i've got a broken one but if you see at the end there's a hole so i'm thinking something snapped off how is this video an epic fail already We're like barely five minutes into it i can't even tell you guys how optimistic i was i was so optimistic about this She's full coverage. Foundation is full, full coverage. A little pinkier than I'd like, but we, we can work with it, we, we move. Okay, that is actually lovely. And it's high, high pigment and yeah, it's a demi matte. Um, where I put the matte primer, I actually look really dewy now. <laughs> this makes my skin look so nice and healthy, I love it. And it's evened out my skin tone perfectly. And it's sitting on the skin nicely. I the shade is just a little bit off, but there weren't that many shades. And I'm 
a more yellow undertone and this i would say is a little bit like peachy in the meantime because i've picked up so many lip products we're gonna put this gold elixir lip gloss on and this is what it looks like it's so pretty it's just a lip gloss with hy hyaluronic acid in there so i think it's just something nice to put on your lips to hydrate them oh my god look at the little spatula i'm in cinematic mode i've got a new phone and I, i'm trying to film with it but once you focus on one thing which is my face everything else is blurry that's a really nice lip gloss it honestly feels like a lip oil it's hydrating and this is what we need before you know lip liner lipstick all that kind of jazz for concealer i have the technic three in one canvas and i got it in the shade honey and it's a nice like warm toned shade i've heard this is like full full coverage so i'm excited to use this baby it's got a nice big doe foot she is pretty much my skin tone she's not gonna brighten but thankfully i've got something that will brighten some parts of my face honestly you could probably use this on its own as a can as a foundation this is so nice like the foundation right it's it's nice but you it's detectable on the skin like it's a bit more of a thicker consistency but this is melting into the skin Ooh, okay 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 i see you this is amazing oh my god this is fantastic i love that concealer it's so so good next thing we're going to do is we're going to cream contour because we're just being super extra so i've got this technic color fix and it's got a range of shades but the only one i could contour with is this one the rest of them maybe i'll try and highlight okay she's pigmented like straight away not a bad shade i mean not my favorite shade but it's not a bad shade either it blends quite nicely pleasantly surprised i'm glad that the rest of this video is working out because after that primer i was a bit like um <laughs> we're in trouble here this is a highly blendable pigmented palette and to be honest when i first saw it i was like this isn't going to be anything special but it's actually a very very nice product so to highlight, I'm going to take a mix of this shade and this shade and just pop it under my eyes. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It is brightening. The thing is, as well, with this, it's, it's very matte. That looks really great. I feel like I have a lot of dimension in my face right now. So time to powder down because my face is so wet. So I've got a loose powder and it's in the shade Sorrel. I think that's how you say it. It's like in a nice like peachy-esque colour. I feel I hope it's light enough for like my under eyes. <laughs> because I don't want to put that highlighter on for it to just get dark again. Oh my god, there's no creasing. I'm just like shock. Right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Oh, it's a really nice colour actually. It has not really darkened anything up. It's like a nice nude shade. And that's a nice powder as well. So it's got like an airbrush finish, to be honest. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Love that powder. I think it's fantastic. My face just honestly looks airbrushed. And my pores, like, what pores? <laughs> okay, I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm a happy girl right now. <laughs> I've kind of powdered, but not around here. Because I have got two Technic gel blushes right here. So this one is in the shade Tease. And this one is in the shade Siren. And I feel like the mix of these two will just be just utterly beautiful. <laughs> so these are the shades. The first one is Tease, the pinky one. And then the one on top is Siren. Okay, so that pink blush looks so beautiful on and I blended it on top of the powdered bit and it actually didn't disrupt any of the makeup. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this red one on top and see what it's like. 
are you guys seeing this because this formula is possibly the best liquid blush formula i think i've ever used it's a gel it's not overly pigmented but it's pigmented enough it's like the most beautiful shades and it works on top of powdered areas on your face and it just looks so healthy and glowy and beautiful what <laughs> oh my god this looks really really good i love it i love it oh my god i'm so glad that this video is back on track now i feel like we had a bumpy start but here we are and it's all performing it's really really performing for me right i'm just gonna put a little bit on my lips just to see what happens i mean it doesn't look too bad as a lip tint either wow love it so to further define that contouring situation we're gonna set the cream with this technic define and highlight it's got like a light shade for like just a powder or is it a shimmer oh it's got a, like a slight sheen to that light shade but we're mostly focusing on this shade and it's in the shade caramel such a soft contour shade it's so nice it just like kind of melts into the skin i'm gonna take a tiny bit of that highlighting shade and pop it on my cheekbones okay there is a bit of a sheen there for sure but it's very icy i'm not the biggest fan of icy highlights yeah i've got a little bit of highlight but no i'm not the biggest fan but i've mattified myself down with a little bit of that powder and now i've got really really exciting product this is the technic mega glow highlighter it actually looks like cream formulas but they're like creamy powders so i'm gonna take a mix of like maybe this shade and this golden shade and just see what we can what we can do because i feel like this is gonna be so intense Okay, she is icy AF. That is like literally, that's blinding beyond. That is blinding beyond. Oh my God, that is, it's so intense. It is so intense. As beautiful as this is, I would say, I wish it was a little bit more golden than um, silver. Honestly, I don't even know what to do about this because this is it's literally it's blinding like <laughs> It doesn't bring out that much texture either. It's quite it's quite nice. It's very pretty. I do like this Right next. I'm going to set my entire face with this Technic Dewy face mist it, I like the size of the ball. It's little but it's really good for like traveling right, I feel like I can smell like coconut or some like cocoa-esque scent it smells really nice reminds me a lot of the huda beauty one the spray is intense i feel like my face is so entirely wet right now i feel like my face is gonna be very 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 dewy right so that lip gloss definitely hydrated my lips they feel really nice and soft now i have like a little lip combination here so i have the retractable lip liner and it's in the shade nude the liquid lipstick in Buxom Bay, which looks like a nice like reddish nude. And then I have a plumping lip gloss, which looks really cute. And this is in the shade Adobes. <laughs> Love that. Let's put on this lip liner. It's in the shade nude and it looks like a nice like brown shade. Right, that shade is definitely not the most pigmented thing in the world, but it's actually quite nice. I feel like this on a no makeup makeup day, fantastic. It would be so pretty. It smells like candy again. <laughs> I'm going to pop this lipstick on. Okay, so that is a nice like pinky-ish nude. It looked more red actually, but it comes off more pink and that is definitely matte. And then before it dries down completely, I'm going to pop this plumping gloss on top. This gloss suits this lip look to the T. Okay, that looks really nice. It's like a really pigmented gloss. I don't feel any plumping 
going on at the moment at all no tingling there's not even like a minty or like a plumping smell no barely has a smell i'll let you know if it starts to tingle but so far nothing what i do want to know is that matte liquid lipstick was getting sticky so i don't think it's going to be like a comfortable matte it's going to be one of those like sticky mattes not into it but the color is cute and it's cute to wear that underneath uh like a gloss or something but yeah i, I do i actually like these lip products they they've not blown me away they're not amazing or anything but they're nice and they're cheap and they do the job we're gonna do a shadow i am getting really really quite shiny so i'm gonna mattify myself down again this is like the third or fourth time i've mattified myself down so these oils are coming through like crazy might even like tone down that highlight just a time for eyeshadow i've got this technic pressed pigment eyeshadow palette in the shade persuasion and this is a direct and i mean direct dupe of the huda beauty naughty nude this actually looks really beautiful i'm really excited i'm so excited so this is what this baby looks like in all her glory in that shade oh, to die to die for so i think i might do like a few swatches have a look at this shade it's a madness it is a madness i'll swatch like these three these three and these two the ones with the patterns in them i just like swirled my finger in there and broke all the pigments i don't think i would ever use that shade maybe on my lips or something <laughs> oh my god that's a good idea okay so fyi my lips are tingling just a tiny 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 tinsy tinsy bit all right so this middle one is actually a cream formula it's completely a cream oh and then this one's a cream as well Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. So we've got quite a lot of formulas in here. These are the swatches. I just did like maybe half the palette. They actually look quite nice. Let's do this. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is this nice warm toned brown. I feel like that'll be a very nice transition shade. It's got a nice level of pigmentation. And like I say, in pretty much all my videos, I have no idea what I look I'm doing. I'm just pretty much winging it. Okay, so that's a nice soft transition shade, nothing too strong. We got a transition shade. Next, I'm gonna take an absolute mix of like these two shades. Right, so with this palette, I actually don't think it's a direct dupe of the Naughty Nude. I feel like there's similarities, but there are enough differences to say no it's not a direct tube i feel like the pigmentation isn't as strong as the actual naughty nude and the dupe that i found performed way better like it performed more like a huda palette than this one is doing i do feel like we've created a really nice like purpley shade right i'm gonna take my finger and go into this blue shade though all the um, eyeshadows with swirly patterns they were creams but this one is the only one that's kind of more powder than cream Ooh, it's a little bit lackluster no don't do this i want something like really exciting oh no it's actually not performing like how i thought it would it looks so pretty in the pan like super super shimmery oh that just looks like quite dark so my eyes are looking kind of bruised right now that shade did not perform like how i thought it was going to i thought it would be so much prettier so yeah and i've got like a little bit under here and here and i you know what i'm in a mess i'm in a mess because that didn't pack a punch i think i'm gonna go over it with this bronze shade i just need shimmer in my life okay are we ready ooh, 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 ooh. yes 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 There is fallout because it is a glitter, but it's freaking beautiful. Hey, like, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? That went from like blue to brown real quick. So then I'm gonna go into this gold shade and pop that in the inner part. 
Ooh, 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 okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <gasps> love that, that is stunning. Ooh, I love these like foily glitter shades. This eyeshadow palette has an insane amount of formulas. Oh, that is just stunning. Oh my goodness, love that. I'm gonna go into this like cream shade and just maybe pat it on because it has some nice glitters in there. I'm really hoping that it does something. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then under the eye, I'm gonna take a mix of this dark brown shade and this like purpley shade. Okay. Oh, I love that. Like, look at that. Not to be picky, but I actually thought that this look was going to turn out a completely different colour story. I thought we'd have like blues and purples, but it's like more of like a plum shade look, which it with this lilac jumper doesn't look too bad. <laughs> going to go into maybe like a little bit of this silver and this rose gold shade and just use it under the brow bone. This palette was a mixed bag. Overall, I feel like we've created a very nice look. It's pretty, you know, it's a little bit extra. I like it, it's shimmery. <laughs> but it's not necessarily what I thought. And I've tried Technic's eyeshadow palettes before and I feel like Technic palettes that I've actually used were more consistent than this one. This one had like loads of weird cream formulas and I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. Cause look at that middle shade, it looks like a mess. <laughs> and the mattes were like not as pigmented as I thought they would be. So I don't know, it's a mixed bag. It's nice, but it's not amazing. But we've created a very nice eye, eye look, so can't complain too much. So I've got a brow pencil. This is the ultra fine micro brow pencil in the shade dark brown. And I also have a clear brow jet. I have been absolutely, utterly, obsessed with the real housewives of beverly hills like i'm just obsessed i am on season two at the moment and i started season one earlier this week there's the drama there's the fashion there's the dinner parties oh god the dinner parties like how do i get invited to one of those because that's where i want to be oh that's a better way little it's petite it's cute brush through these babies so I'm just gonna brush them all up, like so. I actually don't really like this trend that much with the brows up and then I just kind of like flatten them. So just like the ends are like sticking up. Okay, so let's go into this brow pencil. I hope it's like dark enough, just because it, this was a darker shade, dark brown. They don't have like black or anything that i could find like yeah i can clearly see that this is brown it's not black that's a decent brow it's not the best but it's not the worst i'll tell you which brow pencil i'm loving at the moment the huda beauty one i actually thought it was overrated at first but since using it i'm like okay <laughs> like i actually might repurchase it even though i do think it's a little pricey That brow gel really didn't do anything because my brows are like moving all over the place. They're not set at all. Like I said, nothing special. They're just average brows. I think that brow gel was a waste of time and money and I do not recommend. Also want to note out, I'm getting dewy around here yet again. I've mattified myself about four times. So here we go again. Just uh, Right, okay, next thing, liquid liner. So I've got the Technic Skinny Liner. Oh, this is my kind of filter. It reminds me of the L'Oreal. So I hope this is really easy to use. Okay, no, that's a, that's a good liner. It's matte, it's very easy to use. It doesn't bleed. Love it. Okay, so I feel like with this, it started off really well. And then when I was doing this eye, I feel as though the nib was not collecting as much uh, product. So I found it like I had to go in like a two or three times to get that precision, that intensity. I still don't feel like this one is as black as this one. So 
I think it's good, but it's not great. You can get better. I think the L'Oreal one is amazing. That's one of my favorite liners of all time, to be honest, the pen one. So we're almost at the end of this video now. So I've got two last things. So lashes. So I've got a mascara right here. This is the Mega Lash Mega Volumizing Mascara. This is what she looks like. Nice packaging. Ooh, ooh, okay, I don't even know what kind of lashes this is gonna give me, but look. Look at the freaking brush. Let me show you. Right, like, look at all of those spikes. Like, this is a crazy brush. <laughs> it's like a plastic brush as well. And then I've got these um, Technic Lux Cashmere 3D lashes in the shade Amelia. Oh no, Amelie. Amelie, is that how you say it? Amelie? <laughs> It's a big brush. I feel like I'm going to get like very separated lashes with this and length, but I'm not too sure about volume. I mean, I'm a girl all about volume. It's one call and I'm not too impressed. Let's carry on. Such a big brush. It doesn't actually hold that much product. So I've had to dip in quite a few times. Oh, I, I don't even think I'd like this. Not really doing much for me. I honestly, I picked this one because I thought it was going to do like crazy things to my lashes. But mm, these are just literally very like blase lashes. I don't particularly think anything ex like, you know, that they're amazing or anything. They're just average. Yeah, no, not the biggest fan. And I'm actually, I'm really happy that I've got some lashes. So I'm gonna go pop those on off camera, come back with my hair done and I'll see you in a second. <laughs> okay guys, so this is my finished look. This is my full face of Technic and you know what, I'm, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. <laughs> These lashes actually look really quite beautiful, not gonna lie. Where do we even start? Because to be honest, my, my base looks freaking flawless. However, I feel like the colors are just a little bit off. I look far more pink than I, I ever want to look. And I feel like I am looking a little bit cakey, just a tiny bit because I've put so much powder on and I feel like the oils are like seeping out through all, every single layer. And I do kind of look a little bit greasy. Uh, that I'm not a big fan of like around here around here like there's just so much I've, I've mutted it down so many times as well just don't know how many more times I can mut myself down I don't know I just feel like something is not wearing well and I pretty much think it's, it might be the foundation the primers were a little bit naff as well to be honest that oil control one horrendous like literally horrendous I don't even see myself using that one again um the illuminating one it was nice but <sighs> Again, I don't really like shiny primers, it's not my thing. Foundation was nice initially, but I feel like the colour's off and I feel like it's making me quite oily. So I feel like I'd use it on days where I just don't really care what kind of makeup I wear. Like, literally, errand, errand makeup. <laughs> the brow stuff, again, not it didn't blow me away. It's not amazing or anything, it's just so standard. The things I didn't actually like were the primer, terrible. The brow gel, I actually thought it did nothing, so it's a bit shitty. The matte liquid lipstick on its own, don't think I like that either because it it was quite sticky. And the mascara, mascara sucked. Other than that, I think everything else was quite good. Like, I actually like this face of makeup. I feel like it looks nice. This eyeshadow, I'm feeling it. I feel like it's so beautiful. It did come out nice. I mean, the eyeshadow palette did have its like pros and cons, but we made it work. And this is actually a very pretty eye look. Um, the lashes are really pretty. I love the lashes. I rarely wear lashes. Like it has to be a super, super event of some sort. And I feel like these look good. These look really good. They're like really light as well. So I can't feel them. That's the thing that deters me from wearing lashes. Like the, the heaviness. Like I don't want my eyes to be like this. Because they get so heavy and then they're half, half open. Concealer was great, loved the concealer. The powder is actually, I don't know about the powder because I've blotted down my face about five times and I'm still oily, like still, still oily. I just don't understand it. Like the plumping lip gloss, not for the plumpingness, but for the color and the formula, like it's really quite comfortable. 
the blushes the blushes were so beautiful highlighter palette was really nice a contour little powder that was really good too so it's like it's like a really really mixed bag like there's some of the products work fantastic and then others just don't at all so hopefully if you're like thinking about picking up some technique bits you're kind of more knowledgeable about what what to pick up what's good what's not <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's going to be a bit of a long one <laughs> if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and join my youtube family because it honestly it means the most and i'll see you in my next one